the year was 2003, with Halloween approaching. 93 million miles away, an angry sun began to vent its rage. Dark regions, called sunspots, appeared unexpectedly on its surface, a sign of rising tension within. It had been three and a half years since the sun last erupted in fury, at the peak of an 11-year cycle of solar flare-ups. Back then, we got ready for it. By shutting down satellites that were vulnerable to high levels of radiation. But no one expected this. In what should have been a low point in solar activity, the sun erupted in a series of massive explosions called coronal mass ejections, or CMEs. Electrified gas clouds weighing billions of tons raced outward. Solar telescopes recorded the action the largest emission of solar X-rays ever seen. The hottest flares at tens of millions of degrees. And the fastest, reaching speeds clocked in excess of six million miles per hour. The sun became a giant plasma weapon, more potent than in any science fiction, and pointed right at our home planet. The Halloween storms produced some of the most spectacular auroras ever seen at the North and South Poles. They also brought jolts of electricity that caused power outages in Sweden and disrupted airline navigation. In space, these storms damaged 28 communication satellites and destroyed two, and they didn't stop there. As the energetic surge swept past Mars, it was so strong, it burned out the radiation monitor aboard the Mars Global Surveyor spacecraft. Ironically, this instrument was designed to study radiation that human explorers might encounter on future missions beyond Earth. Months later, the rush of solar energy washed over the two Voyager spacecraft on their way to the far reaches of the solar system. CMEs like these have been known to blast their way out to the far edges of the solar system where the solar wind meets the flow of gas moving around the galaxy itself. This stormy season on the sun lasted about five weeks, but it was by no means the worst. A solar eruption in 1859 was so powerful it set fire to telegraph offices. Several people got nasty shocks simply because they were working with metal objects. And for the next few nights, auroras were reportedly bright enough to read by. A similar storm today could easily cause more than two trillion dollars in damage to our high-tech infrastructure. Twenty times greater than Hurricane Katrina. But believe it or not, the threat is about to get even worse. We are beginning to change the way we acquire and use energy by expanding our power grid to accommodate wind farms, solar energy arrays, new nuclear plants, and other renewable sources. This grid will get even larger and smarter with microprocessors in almost every device communicating and negotiating with one another running everything from air conditioners to power plants. A sudden surge of solar activity could strike the grid directly, 
inflicting a substantial amount of damage on the emerging smart power economy.